We're in Blackpool, enjoying some time on the big wheel. Amazing. For those of you that don't know, um, if you're not from the UK, Blackpool is a funny old place. It's like the love child of Las Vegas and Coney Island. Famous for its amusement parks and its massive tower. It's also well known for producing the lead singer of The Cure, Robert Smith, and you may be interested to know I'm from Blackpool as well, which is why I'm here visiting friends and family. But Blackpool has had a lot of regeneration over the past few years, and there's actually, on the seafront, there's an art trail, um, and there's a lot of sculptures and installations and I just thought this would be a perfect opportunity to crack out the 15 stop filter and see if I can come up with any images. Because when doing really long exposure photography, although I don't have too much experience with it, um, but for me, what I'm looking for is sharp contrast. So for example, a metallic sculpture in the soft sea. Um, now the metallic is obviously gonna reflect the sunlight and it's gonna give amazing contrast against the dull, flat, soft water. If we're doing a five or 10 minute exposure, then it's just gonna look really, um, what's it gonna look like, what's that word again? Abstract. It's gonna look very abstract. And I reckon by following the art trail, I can definitely get a couple of nice compositions. So we'll see what happens. I'm not here on a specific photography trip. Um, that's more next week, but I've got a bit of time. So we'll just see what happens. All right, bye for now. Trying to do a long exposure. And you wouldn't believe where the dog has settled himself. Right next to my tripod. Ooh, micro light. My idea of long exposure photography um, is, is all about contrast, sharp contrast. So if we've got a bright metallic object in the relatively soft sea with a fairly benign sky in the background, then this is gonna make for an amazing, um, what is the word I'm looking for? This is gonna make for an amazing abstract image. So I'm actually quite excited to take this photograph, which I think would be relatively boring without the introduction of the Lee 15 stop filter. So I'm gonna have a quick blast of this. I've got, bear with me, I've got an app. Right, this is a Lee app. Uh, basically just calculates your exposure. Better than the cheat sheet. So I've calculated my exposure at 1 25th of a second and we are getting a four minute exposure, which I think is gonna transform this, what would be fairly dull image. So, frame the composition. I've focused. I've switched the camera to bulb mode. I've got my cable release ready. I'm gonna drop in the filter and go for a four minute exposure. One other thing I'm gonna do is because the sun is quite bright, um, I'm just gonna get my little tin and I'm gonna balance it on my camera. And that is just gonna cover the eyepiece because for some reason the Canon 5D Mark III does not have a little eyepiece cover at the back. And that's it, four minutes, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the image is taken. I've waited patiently for four minutes, or we've waited patiently for four minutes. Has it worked? Yes! That looks really nice. Really nice, I'm happy with that. Compositionally, I've whacked it straight in the center. The only one thing I would mention is we've positioned it so that the top of the shell is just below the horizon which I think in this case works really well. So that's it, job done and on to the next one.
That is a giant mirror ball. I think it's going to make an absolutely fantastic subject for a 15 stop filter. And I'll tell you for why. Blackpool is on the west coast of the United Kingdom, which means you get great sunsets, but also it gets battered with really, really ferocious weather that comes in off the Irish Sea. But over the past couple of days, the wind has been coming from the east. So actually, it's lovely and calm and still, um, which really has nothing to do with the photograph. I just thought I'd mention that in case some of you viewers are wondering why it's so so peaceful. Um, no, but the sun rises in the east and we're on the west. So if I stand over here and take a photograph of the mirror ball looking in a westerly direction, the sun is going to rise behind me and reflect off the mirror ball and that should look fantastic. Just need to clear some litter. It's always better to do it in person if you can. Help the environment and it means you don't have to do as much Photoshop work later on. Wow, look at the sky behind me. Burning orange. Put this in the bin. Why are the bins in really awkward places? Right, we're about ready to shoot. The sun's given a fantastic glow behind us. Again, with this 15 stop filter, I'm not sure if we're going to capture the lovely orange colours as sun rises because uh, of the colour cast, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm just going to get the shot, see what happens. It's all kicking off now. We're starting to get really colourful skies. So I want to get this done as quickly as possible. I'm not sure what's going to happen with regards to, say we do a five or 10 minute exposure. During that time period, that sun's going to rise and things are going to change. So, I have absolutely no idea what to expect. Lovely colour, absolutely lovely colours. I tell you what, if you think Blackpool is all about stag parties, hen parties, and uh, Blackpool rock, then you are mistaken. Things have changed. Things have changed. Right, we're looking at about 15 minutes. Now, the reason I say about 15 minutes, wow, the mirror ball's doing its job. Look at this. Now, one thing I will say is the sun's going to rise behind me and there is a risk that the sun is actually going to creep in through my, uh, through the viewfinder. So I need to cover the viewfinder somehow. See, oh, why don't, why didn't the, I'm just going to set the timer on my watch. He should have done this earlier and we're off. That's it. 15 minute exposure. Actually, no, I'll tell a lie, I've gone for 14 and a half because I'm concerned that the sun's just gonna get brighter and brighter. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this turns out. The good thing about a 15 stop is if you get people walking in your shot, it doesn't matter. They just blur into insignificance. <sighs> Hello. Okay, this is it. This is the moment of truth. Just a few seconds left. That's it. Come on. Oh, fantastic. That, excuse me, that looks really smart. I mean, it's not my usual style of photography. However, I am really pleased with this. So I think so far, Blackpool is rocking it. No pun intended. Well, as you can see, I've clearly made it. So if you like this channel and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. Bye for now.